Joseph Staten now responds to the many forged leaks that have been going around for us. Sketch kind of blows our mind a bit when it comes to these traditional screenshots that we've had in Halo. Also, it looks like Halo Infinite's matchmaking might be kind of busted. We also have the reveal of an Xbox Elite 2 controller that looks very interesting. And Hogwarts Legacy, one of my most anticipated games, just has release date announced. And a whole lot more, so if you want to know everything, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. The head of creative, one of the big wigs over at 343 Industries, Joseph Staten, recently tweeted this out saying, this early Forge work is so exciting and energizing. The actual launch of Forge is going to be a game changer. Speaking of the Halo team, we can't wait to see what you all create. The Forge lead himself also responded to this saying, I can't agree more. We're so excited to see what experiences the community creates when Forge launches. It's going to be amazing. Another dev even says that so much love has been poured into every ounce of this experience. It's all kind of writing off of the recent tweet out here from LazyBeard aka Chris Howard, who is a pipeline engineer at 343, talking about his work about making the static objects easier to place and have more objects in the map, saying that it gives him life when it comes to developing for Halo Infinite. So this is really exciting stuff to see that not only just creating this Forge content is really exciting to find and watch to see what people create with this stuff, but the developers are being motivated. They're getting a new sense of life and purpose when it comes to developing Halo, which is fantastic to see. Oftentimes with leaks and early access kind of stuff that we're not really supposed to have, oftentimes developers are completely silent about this or look down upon it, but it seems like 343 is like, heck yeah, man. Have fun with it. Do some crazy stuff with it. We need some positivity in the community. Next sketch kind of blows our mind a little bit when it comes to these amazing epic photos. I'm sure you guys remember seeing all these crazy photos back in like the magazines back when you promote Halo 2 and stuff like that. These amazing screenshots are like, yeah, most likely this stuff wouldn't happen in game because of the way the situations happen, but it does make it look very awesome and the marketing gets you excited about playing this game. Well, these images are a lie. Community director Sketch replied here, kind of blowing all of our minds, saying, another fun fact, back then, many of our grander shots, like this Zanzibar one that I showed you guys just now, uh, were shopped, as in photoshopped, combos of multiple images. It was impossible to get all the in real time in ideal composition in one take. We saved a fixed camera position and then just captured the shots and the elements. And then, they still do this to this day, which is actually kind of crazy right here, where Randy, one of the developers over at 343 said, picking back off of this fun fact that it's exactly how I made many of the Halo Infinite playlist images. So like this right here, a composition image. I just took a static location within the world and just kind of pieced it together with the different Spartans and stuff like that, which is kind of interesting. Honestly, kind of blew my mind that like, I, like I kind of have a feeling when it comes to this stuff. I just thought it was just really well done and well composed, but like, that's just Photoshop. And this is my reaction when I first saw this. I'm like, my whole life is a lie right now. Right now, it looks like Halo Infinite's matchmaking system might be busted, scuffed, broken, however you want to put it. But it seems like there's some issues going on right now. Top Pro Lucid tweeted this out, even tagging in Unicheck, who actually replied to this. But basically, what happened in this video here is that Lucid, while playing Halo, as he normally does, he's a 2500 Onyx player, like one of the top players in the game right now, right? And then he shows he got placed with some diamond twos, which is a little low, a diamond one, a platinum six, and even a gold three in his lobby. That should not be happening. Like actually should not be happening at all because of the recent update bringing the CSR into effect where people who have certain amounts of CSR can only match with certain types of people, not solely based on MMR like it was previously. And Unishek replied to it saying, thanks for the heads up, Tommy. It looks like something isn't working as intended. The team is investigating. So basically this is a way to kind of stop smurfing, what, what, smurfing what that is. Basically people creating burner accounts, fake accounts and stuff like that. And then one, they would just play terribly to kind of have a low CSR to beat up on randoms. But then the MMR would bump them up to RX tier once they start beating up on those randoms. And so then it kind of creates like this weird situation where you have gold threes and stuff like that in your ranked lobbies, which should not be happening. With the recent update to the matchmaking system that we covered previously on the channel here, guys, that the CSR does matter when it comes to ranking. So even if he was smurfing, gold three should not be matching with Luce. So we haven't heard any updates yet from Unicheck when it comes to the matchmaking. If you guys have been experiencing any kind of issues since the August update. There have been some minor bugs here and there I've been seeing kind of going around. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Now, are you in the market for a new controller? Possibly, but you want to keep it with the Xbox? Well, the Xbox Elite controllers are definitely solid controllers, but they're only black, right? Well, this one 
is different right here. This Elite Series 2 controller is black and white. So if you're kind of looking for that kind of aesthetic right there, this might just be your jam. This was just posted up like this morning, which is kind of exciting stuff. I'll skip to the part where he actually takes the controller out of the box here so you can see like what it actually looks like. But yeah, this guy like actually has an Elite Series 2 controller, which obviously is gonna be much better than the original Elite controller, which already there is a white one with that. But this one definitely looks a lot better in my opinion. Uh, if you guys are looking forward to something kind of like this, this is definitely something worth checking out because this controller right here, it looks pretty clean. Now we just had our first look at Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer before the actual beta releases that were just announced. This video I think was either posted on like TikTok or Instagram, but basically showcases the map Farm 18, the first time we get a chance to see in-game assets and multiplayer maps and gunplay as well a little bit here about Modern Warfare 2. That's our first like actual look at the multiplayer, which this game, I mean, it looks kind of like Modern Warfare 2019, but in that case, I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of all for that because well, Modern Warfare 2019 looked amazing and I think it played out rather well. Interesting thing to point out that the lack of doors in this game though, on this map, which is very important to take note of. So there'll be less annoyances with that. It looks a little bit more leveled, less verticality to it. They basically stated that it's gonna be playing like shoot, out, shoot House, which is a very popular map, which will be from Call of Duty 4, uh, but it has a much more outdoor-y kind of areas where you, if you wanna avoid the center chaoticness of happening in the center of the map, you can go to the outside edge of things. But one thing that's really been bothering people recently with this video is the recoil pattern with this game. I'll slow this video down to about 0.25. You can see what I'm talking about here where if you shoot you can see how the recoil is kind of like all over the place man it's kind of crazy like is it really gonna be this you know tough to manage your weapon in call of duty where traditionally call of duty has been a pretty easy game to manage your recoil not a whole lot of stuff happening there well there was a re recoil comparison video that just went live on someone's youtube channel i wanted to compare with you guys to see what i'm talking about and i have a feeling it might be a little bit of a you know, good route of recall and a little bit of, and a little bit of gaming media aim. Let me show you what I'm talking about. In this comparison video here, you see on the right side, it's Modern Warfare 2019. And then on the left side is the new Modern Warfare 2. And when you see the recall, like the right side, much more manageable. Where the left side, a lot more visual recall happening here. But I think the biggest difference here is that there's a bit of gaming media person aim. Well, like I guess I'm refer to it as is basically, if you guys know, like a lot of times devs and also gaming media are not exactly the the best at their games. Because if you guys remember back when Halo Infinite's multiplayer gameplay was revealed by IGN, the player who they captured uh, wasn't exactly the best example of how Halo Infinite should be played. I mean, like this player right here, just holding onto a plasma charge shot for the longest time I think I've ever seen anybody ever hold a plasma shot. Like I think he actually holds it to like the very end almost. And like, yeah, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to like gaming media, people trying to use shooter, play shooter games. Like it's not exactly the best example of aiming. So while the visual recoil is kind of crazy, there are two significant stick flicks that this player uses that I think really kind of exaggerates what the recoil actually looks like. Slow it down to 25, you see right here, right there, that was a bit of a flick that happened. So he's trying to re-correct over to the right side while strafing to the left. And there's a huge flick with the right stick again that kind of brings over the player's aim into a really weird situation. So I think it's more just like really bad in like right there is a flick and then there's another flick right there with the right stick. So I think it's more just the fact that the player not really doing any kind of recoil management or just not really familiar with using a controller. Of course, once we get some actual gameplay, I'll share with you guys here on the channel, but it looks like we have some big reveals happening with Call of Duty next month. It's gonna be a huge month for Call of Duty. One is Call of Duty Next. It's gonna be a presentation of not just Modern Warfare 2, but the franchise moving forward, which is going to be very interesting. I'm sure we'll see some Call of Duty Mobile stuff as well mixed in with it. This is happening on September 15th. And then we have the beta weekends for Weekend 1s happening with PlayStation users from the 16th to the 20th, essentially. And then you have Weekend 2 with crossplay beta with Xbox, PC, and PlayStation all playing together from the 22nd to the 26th. Obviously, if you have early access or pre-ordered, it gives you early access to the beta as well. But once we get some more information about One for 2, guys, it's one of my most anticipated games this fall. I'll look you guys know here on the channel. While we're on the topic of anticipated games coming out guys, Hogwarts Legacy, one of the most anticipated single player games coming out guys, has just had their release date announced saying Hogwarts Legacy will launch on February 10th, 
2023 for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. The Nintendo Switch launch will be at a, revealed at a later date, but the team is excited to play to get to deliver more experiences, things like that. It's gonna be on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and S consoles, Xbox One, Steam, and Epic Game Store. So pretty much anywhere you basically play this game, you'll be able to play it besides on Switch. This is the first time we've heard any information about a release date for Hogwarts Legacy since the announcement of the delay when it was initially gonna launch in 2021. If you guys wanna know the 23 hidden changes that came with the August Trump pod for Halo Infinite, check out this video right here. Thank you all for watching, greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.